The Meghan Markle thing has not died down, by the way. It just keeps going. Um, Twitter removed the clip of the Disney, the Disney ordeal. Yes, I heard. Well, you told me that, and yeah. then everyone today on all the like daily news stuff that mm-hmm. comes out like in the morning is talking about that. Yeah, and it's like a huge deal because they're just like, "Oh, fuck you guys!" So I, it I, just revealed them for a in a different way. Yes, yeah. and I finally got to watch the entire clip. Um, yeah, did you? Y- yeah, what I did. do you think? It's awkward. I mean, it is awkward. really, really wasn't exactly what cringy. I was saying. Like, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a normal. It's a prince. It's a prince pitching his wife, his wife, the princess. Yes, to the head of Disney. That's right next to him talking to Beyonce. Yeah, Bob Iger. I mean, it's Bob Iger. It's the president of Disney. Um, the it's man. Just weird. He's the best executive probably in the, in the history of man. And his response is very oh. Oh. Okay, almost like, yeah, like you're pit, like I was pitching him. It's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Great, I didn't know that. I'll keep her in mind. You know what and I mean? That's what like, he said. I didn't know that. Goes, oh, I didn't know that. So yeah, so maybe, maybe we, we could. Should, tr- what didn't he say? Yeah. Maybe we could try it or something. You should try it out, or you should give her a chance, or you should. We should try something else. Some something that was like, hmm. so Eesh. fucking cringy. Yeah, you know, and again, if they weren't leaving, it's like, okay, fine. They're trying but to do other things. But now when you're things. saying, hey, we're financially hey, independent. Hey, now we're financially independent. I had one conversation with the, right, that's not what it is, but I think they are being like, I talked to Beyonce about doing something with her. I talked to Disney. Like, we are good, grandma. Yeah. Is what he's saying. I mean. We are good, grandma. It, it was really awkward. It's like, man, I. Look, nobody wants to be pitched while they're out anyways, let alone a prince pitching his wife to do voiceovers. Voiceover. Not even like. Roles. Not even actual roles. Well, he's Disney, right? So it's like, do you, are you that dumb too that you think Disney only does animated stuff? No. Well, so here's my thought. Do you thought, know what I mean? Here's of my like, thought process. She's an actress, you know? Yeah, we know. Here, here's my thought process behind it, right? Or his. Yeah. Y- y- yes, his. Of, I don't think because she's technically a princess right right i don't think a princess can star in movies can they no and that's why the voiceover thing came in where it's just like hey but you can't even do that because you can't get financial gain from other things that are like that that's the whole financial independence thing is they want to if she does a voiceover they want to you know they want it because everything goes you know the the palace everything I think, I mean, like I said, you know, they get an allowance, like everything is, I I, I don't know. I mean, I don't really know, but it's very strange. It's very strange. You want to think it's for good reasons. Like you want to give them the benefit of the doubt, not me, but other people want to give her and him the benefit of the doubt of like, they just want to get out of the limelight. They just want to like, yeah, take a step back. They're not taking a step back, by the way. They're taking a step forward for themselves. <laughs> and that little bitch is getting exactly what she fucking wanted. She's oh. getting to play a princess in Disney. Yeah. Can you. Her and her, Beyonce are going to do a song together. Can you have her. Can you just look into her doing voiceovers. I mean, that was crazy to me. And so what. So what's even crazier what is why. Did she play? Why the did she take it down? Gerbil. <laughs> Hi. No. No one's even really asked me how I'm doing. Because you're a fucking princess, you asshole. <laughs> We're not asking you how you're doing. We see how you're doing all the fucking time. <laughs> Nobody even asked me. <laughs> Shut up, Princess Gerbil. I love your hatred for her. It so big. fuels me. It's it keeps so me large. going. And that is, that is the only thing on That's this earth. the only thing. That keeps me going <laughs> is your hatred. Is getting me started. You get me started, though. Um, you get me started. Just pitching your wife, dude. Jesus Christ. About voiceovers. A princess. You know? Yeah. It's where we are. This is the 2020 we deserve. But for Twitter, who makes that call? The royal family? Hey, man, could you pull that clip? Oh. uh, How do you get a fucking clip pulled like that? Mm. I don't know. I mean, I think they are. Because typically, it has to. A little more powerful than we think. Probably. 
but it has to invoke what some form of racism hate hate act of hate violence to get a clip um, pulled like non-consent maybe like recording without your consent no you're at a public no. outing there's no reason why that that shouldn't be out there look man. sex tapes leak all the time and i'm sure they're taken down no oh no no they stay up well That's you the way it they is. stay up because you save them and put them in your videos no Oh. No, I do not. They don't stay up on Twitter. N- but they stay, they up stay a- in everywhere your else. phone. Yeah, they stay everywhere else. So <laughs> the fact that they were able to get a fucking Just you normal clip them. pulls. Yeah. Eh. James, just because you bookmarks. can find them easily yeah. doesn't mean they haven't taken them down other places. Just because they're bookmarked and saved. <laughs> just because they're in my cookies. <laughs> yeah. Forever and ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's strange. Really strange. So, uh, hey, everybody saw the clip. You might as well leave it now. Right. I mean, taking it down is a little more suspect than leaving it up, right? And being like, and? Yeah. The issue is? <laughs> people are so stupid when it comes to that. I was, I was pitching my wife to get an animated movie. I was talking. I was making small talk. Like, leave me the fuck alone. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you could say any number of things or not say any number of things. Like, they're just, uh, they are going through it. And they're making wrong decisions. And they're like... Because they don't have the protection of the royal family and they're all that like bullshit. Me. They're like being like me. They're very sensitive right now to everything. What did you ask for? Did you ask for this or no? Yeah. The look of disbelief on Bob Iger's face, too, it was... Oh, it... He was just like, I'm that sorry? That was the cringiest part. It's his I response. I will say this. If he was just like, oh, yeah, I know. I've been... You know, whatever. Yeah. It's his response that makes it cringier. That he was just like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's... Talk about that. Oof. Eesh. And I know that feeling too when you pitch someone and they're not into it. And they're not like, oh my God, really? No. Would she? You know? <laughs> we didn't think she would. Like that kind of thing is what you want. Mm. I will say I this like though. For every writer or actor out in Hollywood who saw that clip. They go, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> welcome to the club, suits. Sorry you did one thing and now you're a princess, but this is how it's been. It should give you hope because, look, if a prince can't pitch his wife into an uh, animated voiceover at Disney. Right. If Meghan Markle can't get a fucking gerbil, like the part of the gerbil on fucking the next (laughs) Zoomanity movie or whatever, then don't feel so bad. Oh, God, so good.